This is the story of a cat named Lucy who nobody wanted until she got the chance to live a dream life as a barn cat on a beautiful farm almost 500 miles away. Part of being a cat foster is helping your kitties find their forever homes. It's very easy to find homes for my kittens and I always find homes for my adult cats too. But what about the kitties that aren't able to be socialized? Now there's always exceptions, but in general, feral cats just don't often make good house pets. So what happens to these kitties? Many cities like my own here in Orlando have started TNR programs and that stands for trap neuter release. So feral cats are trapped, taken in, spayed, neutered, usually given a vaccination, and then they're either taken back to the area where they were found or another colony is found for them. Ideally, there's a human caretaker that oversees the colony, making sure that they have food and keeping an eye out in case there's any injuries or medical issues. A couple of months ago, my friend and fellow cat foster Dana trapped a feral mama cat and her four kittens. She didn't want to return the mama cat to the place where she'd been living because the people living there didn't want her. The four kittens were old enough to be adopted and I offered to take Lucy until I could get her spayed and find a safe colony where she could live. Now, I wish I had video of Lucy for the first month that I had her because she was absolutely terrified of me. But at the time, I didn't know I was gonna be doing a video about her. I would open the crate door just to put food and water in and she would climb up the sides of the crate. She was terrified. So the video clips you're seeing here, this is Lucy two months after I'd had her when she started to let me pet her. I just wanna emphasize that I spent a lot of time and effort getting Lucy to this point where you're seeing her now. I was still looking for a place for Lucy to go when my sister Laura came to visit. And when she saw Lucy, she fell in love. And this was a wonderful thing because you see, Laura has a farm. And what is no proper farm complete without? That would be a cat. So a few weeks later, Lucy and I hopped on a flight from Florida to North Carolina. Lucy didn't make a peep during the entire flight She's a real travel pro. Laura and my grandnephew Tristan were waiting for us at the farm. They had prepared a comfortable crate for Lucy to stay in for a few weeks until she got used to her surroundings. Lucy was a little nervous at first, but there was so much for her to look at. The barn swallows up in the rafters, the sound of the sheep and the goats outside in the fields, a family of peacocks grazing in the yard, and even a roommate inside the barn, Clark, the goat. But what Lucy really wants after her trip is lots of head scratches. After I flew back home, Laura kept Lucy in the crate for a little over a month. She wanted to be certain that when Lucy was let out of the crate, she would know this was her home. Finally, the day came. The crate door was opened, Lucy stepped out, fell on her back and rolled on the floor, asking to be petted. It was immediately clear that Lucy had accepted the barn as her home and she wasn't going anywhere. Over the next few days, Lucy started to venture outside. There's so many places to explore and so many fun places to run and hide. It's kind of a cat paradise. I think Lucy has the best of both worlds. She gets freedom and adventure, but she also has a very safe place to live and someone who loves and cares about her. And she's helping to earn her keep too. Laura says she's caught several mice in the barn. Although Laura was happy to give Lucy a home, even if they were never really friends, it's been a wonderful surprise to find out that Lucy really enjoys the company of people. I know Lucy's story is exceptional and not every cat that needs a barn can just get on an airplane and go to one, but I think there's a lot of places in our communities where these kinds of cats can live alongside people. 
And if the cats are fixed and healthy, then it's a great situation for everyone. Lucy is now just one of the gang on the farm, and she's very, very happy. It's been so wonderful to help this cat go from a stray that no one wanted to a cherished barn cat, clearly in her element. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to pounce on that subscribe button and join the Kitten School family. Kitten School is the place to be. Subscribe now!